This is Australian house producer Jackknife. The music world in 2040 will obviously be more advanced than it is today, technologically. Today we are seeing a rise in streaming services such as Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud, and less people purchasing individual songs or albums. These streaming services require paying a monthly premium to enjoy all the music in their library, offering discounts for students for about $5. The way artists make money is per stream. Spotify pays about 0 .006 of a cent to 0 .0084 of a cent per stream to the holder of music rights. And the holder can be split among the record label, producers, artists, and songwriters. By 2040, record labels will be very rare, as artists won't need the publicity from them because they can use free online services to promote their music. I can't predict what those sites will be in 2040, but they will be similar to current streaming services such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Audiences, therefore, will behave differently. As cultural expectations change, people's tastes will become more niche, Listening to an independent house artist from Australia in Kentucky will no longer be unusual, and people will not waste their time listening to music on the radio that does not appeal to them. By 2040, radio discoverability will be dead. Radio stations will primarily be used to target extremely niche audiences. I think by 2040, artists will have found a way to become more compensated for their work than one one-hundredth of a cent per stream. I think paying an artist one penny per stream will be the standard, resulting from artists not giving up the rights to their music because of unfair compensation. The challenge for artists in 2040 will be being discovered. Since there are so many emerging artists that are all on a level playing field because of the internet and no record labels, the amount of content released will be much higher. Fans will be overwhelmed with the amount of new music being released every day and therefore will cling to those they already know. The flip side to this is many more ways to reach people. There will be even more one-hit wonders who produce one hit song that catches on, but creating a truly successful artist who can bring about a dedicated fan base to purchase merchandise and attend live events over an extended period of time is going to take much more strategic and creative ways of reaching the audience. The challenge for public relations in the music industry in 2040 will be how to communicate to the world that this artist is worth listening to. No matter how digitized we become, music always brings out that basic human emotion within us. So, for example, I've chosen to take upon Australian house artist Jackknife. Check, give me, 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 check, give me